Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Friday, January 22nd. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. At the heart of your reading, we have the lovers reversed. You really want a passionate relationship in your life. And you don't currently have one. If you're in a relationship, that means the passion that you're seeking isn't there. What's the challenge here? Eight of Swords reversed. Um, releasing fears, doubts, and insecurities. You're focused on love, not just passion. You want a passionate connection because you feel that's an expression of love. You feel very connected to someone else from the heart when you connect with them physically. But somehow there are insecurities holding you back. In the recent past, we have temperance in reverse, the lack of integration, not being on the same page, not seeing eye to eye, not wanting the same things. What's the energy of the environment? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Universe wants you to recognize how um, the life that you're in and the life that you're aiming toward is different from the life that you actually want. There's something incongruent about your, your actions. It feels like you're trying to live a life that other people expect of you. And it's not actually the way that you want to live your life. In the near future, we have a change to all that with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You're no longer going to be uh, investing in a future that doesn't lead you to the environment that you want. Bottom of the deck, Five of Wands, you're going to start putting up a fight. If you feel like... Um, There's some way that you've been capitulating to expectations of society or it might it's, it's either real or imagined. It could be in your own head because these are things that you tell yourself that aren't true. Show me surprise energy. What is going to influence the situation that Scorpio doesn't see coming? Knight of Cups reversed. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. I'm getting sharing feelings, sharing emotions and feelings, but it's, it's not love, it's sadness. Sharing feelings of sadness. acting on your feelings of sadness and clarifying that as the Hierophant reversed. Um, this feels like the societal expectations, real or imagined, that's keeping you from behaving in accordance with what you actually want and not putting up the fight to live, live authentically.
Your hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Swords reversed. No one can understand me. No one can see this clearly. Uh, it's the fear that people will look at you and judge you based on the surface and not see through to the deeper meaning. It feels like uh, a fear of being judged, wrongly judged. Because this feels like a desire to express a, a positive part of you. It feels like you feel positively about this part of yourself. But you don't believe that anyone else would see how it's a positive thing. You think that they would judge you based on the surface and determine that you are somehow negative in their minds. Show me the end result. King of Wands reversed. Um, you're, you're going to hit a point where you can't bottle it up anymore. Where you're going to burst free from any restrictions, real or imagined. Uh, even, even if it is in your own mind, it's real enough because it's influencing your life. Um, show me more about the King of Wands here. It feels like taking bold action. I just want to see um, many times, excuse me, <clears throat> many times with the King of Wands reversed, there's uh, a caution there to not be too impulsive. No, it's, it's not that at all. It's um, put up a fight. This is the, the building up of repressed desire to be yourself and live authentically, that you haven't been fighting for yourself. You haven't been fighting for the life you want. You're going to, at the culmination of this experience, you're going to be fighting for the life that you want. Your advice is three of wands reversed. Don't wait on anyone else's permission. Um, now, uh, disclaimer, I don't advocate... Um, breaking any laws. So if permission is required to do what you want, um, this this is something else. This is like, if people aren't seeing how just being yourself is good for you and good for the world, then stop waiting for them to see it that way. All right, Scorpio, I hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.